So my name is Ken Rubin. I'm at the University of Hawaii in the Department of Geology and Geophysics. And uh, I work in a couple of different domains. I'm a geochemist who uh, studies applications to active volcanology and sea level history. My involvement in EarthCube uh, stems largely uh, from being on the science committee. And uh, I'm involved in a couple of the working groups that we have. One of them has to do with uh, evaluating the science drivers that have arisen from uh, a variety of sources, including the end user workshops. And another um, aspect of, of uh, what we're working on is looking at the grand challenges. What are the things that EarthCube might be able to solve that are of interest to a very broad cross section of Earth scientists? So EarthCube is still being defined right now, and there, being decision, there are decisions that are being made that will affect how uh, we as Earth scientists interact with data, how, how we collect it, how we interact with other scientists, how we, um, in, in essence, everything that we do with whatever sorts of measurements we make, how we use them and how we share them. And, as anyone who's been in the sciences for more than a few years realizes, there's a lot of rapid changes going on in um, not only how we use our data, but the requirements about how we document it. And all of these things are for the betterment of how we conduct our science. And anyone who's interested in being an active member of uh, the broad earth sciences um, in any of its domains in the future, will want to be able to interact at the highest level and they want to understand the process that went into deciding how it is um, that they're required to interact when it comes to, to data enabled science. <laughs>